Hello fellow viewer and here QC Warchief. Today we are talking about Diablo 2 Resurrected. I've played the game 20 years ago, bought the game in the release 20 years ago, and uh, it, I was really excited to have that game on console to be able to play it with friends and my wife in the comfort of my couch. We played uh, Diablo 1, we played Diablo 2 back in the days, and we also played Diablo 3, and Diablo 3 was a little bit disappointing. Uh, made with most um, most likely uh, comic graphics, it was not gore that much. Uh, we felt it like it was made for kids instead of being made for adults, like the previous ones. Uh, these games are having a reputation to be really uh, gore, having a really good soundtrack. And that never changes, actually, because if we look at the whole thing back in... Diablo 2 Resurrected, they just brought back the same game that we had 20 years ago with a little better graphics. And I need to be honest there. There is no other improvement. It's only the graphics. Which is disappointing because we find ourselves 21 years later with a game that they are selling us 60 bucks on the market for the original one. They are selling us 80 bucks for the full uh, updated version of the game and I recall paying that game maybe 50 or 60 bucks 20 years ago so where is the problem right now we have a really bad practice on the marketplace right now that we are forced to deal with it and I honestly I was excited about the game because I like the game but I don't like that kind of practice they are reserving the same old game than 21 years ago to the player base just to fundraise probably the fourth one of the series. It doesn't make any sense to bring back that game and sell it as expensive as a 3A game since the game got out 20 years ago and basically what we see inside the game is a graphic upgrade. If you played it, I played the beta and uh, I, honestly, it's the same clunky mechanic. Nothing has changed there. It, it, the controller is not the best adaptation at all. And it, it, it has some work to do there. On the slide, just want the game to let me map my controller the way I want. I'm gonna be happy about that. But if they are forcing one controller mapping on the players, since this is originally a PC game, uh, you're pushing the console players to play with limited possibilities. Everybody have their own way to set up their controllers and in these games it's really important. It's not a first person shooter. So that is something that needs to change. Because uh, we're in 2021, Blizzard, you, you guys can sell us the same game with a small graphic improvement for more expensive than what you actually sold it back in the first initial release of the game. It's complete nonsense. Uh, you can't justify that in any way. Uh, indie games are sold cheaper than that. And they are actually taking much more work in the developments than that. This was just fitting the graphics for the new console, adjusting the crossplay for the player base, and outside that, there is no improvement. So, the only thing we have possibility to play on console, small graphic improvement, and crossplay. Does that work? 60 bucks or 80 bucks? Absolutely not. There is games that give that for free. So, the market right now is not relevant to the game that has been dropped. This game is outdated completely. Even with the upgrade, the graphic upgrades, it's not relevant to the market. Uh, it's supposed to be new generation compatible, uh, but any generation can actually run that game. You don't need to have a Xbox X or S to run that. Uh, I'm talking about the series, sorry. But still, graphic upgrade. And uh, if you guys remember, um, back in the days, 20 years ago, oh God, I'm, I know I'm old. Um, there's something that ruined the game. And it's something that even today we have problems in many other games. 
and it's the duplication. And I feel like right now the company wanted to recreate the economy of the game and I'm probably sure that duplication will ruin it once again uh, in a matter of weeks if it's not done already. Uh, I did not check but I'm pretty sure that there is some duplication glitch that still work. I'm gonna have to test that honestly but still the game is nice if you guys want to buy it and have fun go for it I'm not gonna buy this game at this price I'm gonna wait for a retail price because I paid it already for PC I still have my my, my CD somewhere here at my home but I am just really keen to play it on console at the moment just to have fun with some friends and more comfortable uh, stance so I'm gonna buy it in retail and I suggest you to do the same don't buy that game at full price wait till it's on game pass wait till it has 50% uh, free on it because 60 to 80 bucks for a 21 years old game is a joke a big fucking joke they can't do that and expect the player to stay silent uh, we see these kind of things too much on the market and uh, I'm keen to play for a game that has been developed recently I'm not keen to pay for a game that I al already paid back in the days 20 years ago to repay again just because there was some slight I mean I'm really mean it I place the accent on that slight improvement on the graphic absolutely no improvement concerning the playability it's still a clunky game like it was 20 years ago it doesn't prevents us from liking the game and enjoy your fun there but it's still not relevant to the market not relevant to what we pay for game these days and absolutely not relevant to uh, what we can expect from games these days I'm gonna have fun I'm gonna play it with friends but I don't think I'm gonna pass 400 hours in that game once again like I did that's the thing uh, I'm gonna probably buy it because I'm keen to help the dev teams to build up the fourth one of the series but I despise that kind of practice that puts the company into remastering the same old shit for years in order to put some money in the bank to pay for some other games that they want to develop when everybody knows that the last two years on the market for video games were the last two best year uh, when we talk about money economy uh, the uh, gaming industry has never been richer than during those last two years and still we can still see those stupid practice of coming back with a remastered a restructured or resurrected game 21 years later with a slight boost of graphic and absolutely nothing else don't get me wrong I love Diablo I don't like that kind of practice I'll just simply pass wait for retail price like I've been telling you many times already and suggest you to do the same uh, in the meantime I'm not sure if there's a solution for that except not buying those stupid games whenever it comes out uh, but in the meantime I know that if you guys like a game you'll buy it no matter what it's understandable I do the same so enjoy it make sure that uh, you may save a little bit of money on that, but wait a little bit, don't push yourself, there's double three still there and it's still playable, it's still enjoyable too. It's definitely not the same environment. And if you guys want to have the same kind of environment without having to pay a shitload of money for a game that has been resurrected for 21 years under uh, in his tomb, I'd say, just go play Path of Exile. Path of Exile has been created following the same pattern pretty much as Diablo the same kind of graphics and honestly the graphics are updated it's uh, it's up to date it, the, the graphics are nice the, the, it's smooth it's not clunky as Diablo 2 resurrected his it's not the same environment of course but still it's something you can enjoy without having to pay a single dime because it's supposed to be free on the store for uh, multiple years I played that game a little bit and I had some fun because I wanted to play Diablo 2 and was pissed back then that Diablo 3 was childish. 
So this is QC Warchip, guys. I hope you like the review. I hope you like the opinion. Uh, 21 years of gaming. It's more than that, actually. But anyway, please come back. Please subscribe. And please give me your opinion in the comment section. I'll be keen to answer you and uh, uh, argue with you about that uh, respectfully, of course. Have a good one, everybody.